Straight to a top story in a development that can make the already going telecom wars in Indian markets bitter. Reliance has unveiled today its new phone, which company claims will come at free of cost to buyer. With the phone, Ambani aims to take the telecom war from voice to data services. So clearly, uh, Relgio has launched a new phone and will the new phone today. It will be launched very soon, but the pilot test will start very soon and it's going to change. Reliance claims the way Indian market functions. It is claimed to be world, uh, world's, we can say that, cheapest smartphone, 4G phone. So, so clearly, uh, one big phone unveiled by Reliance at AGM today. Relgio, it's 2.0. Relgio has unveiled its Geo phone uh, at its AGM. It claims the phone is coming free of cost to customers. It has features of smartphones, a 4G phone, a Volte phone, which has features of smartphone. Handset is LTE based 4G phone. It is going to have a lot of applications. We'll tell you about it. But Geo has been priced at rupees zero. The Geo phone has been priced at rupees zero. That's what Reliance claims, but they will uh, need a deposit of 1500, security deposit of 1500 from uh, the customers uh, to which they are going to sell the phone. Security, this 1500 rupees security will be refunded after three years and that's what they are promising. Reliance Geo in today's AGM has launched it and Geo phone will offer users free voice and SMS that is coming with this phone. But unlimited data is also coming at rupees 153 per month. So Rel Geo has unveiled a new Geo phone in which two cheaper data tariff plans will also be there. It's not only one plan which is going to be there. And apart from it, there is a Geo phone TV cable service which has been unveiled also with this. Rel Geo has entered in a, into an arena which is TV distribution, not directly but indirectly through phone. Users can connect to Geo phone to TV. So that's another a feature of this phone, Geophone TV, to be available for rupees 309 per month. So, Relgio has entered into a space which was so far an uncharted territory for Reliance Geo. And today, apart from launching or unveiling Relgio phone, they have unveiled a new service, the cable TV service. Geophone will also support digital payments. And here they are, we can say that cooperating with government because government wants it to be something which is very close to uh, digital payments also. So this new phone will enable digital payments as well. And to talk more on this uh, overall story, uh, we have our in-house expert Ankit Tuteja who, who covers technology from very close. And Ankit, what do you make out of uh, this uh, really uh, big, you know, what they claim to be the cheapest, world's cheapest smartphone? Do you really get impressed by what they're claiming to be? They are saying it's uh, the world's cheapest. I would say it's the most affordable phone in the world because it's priced at zero rupees. So uh, again, if it's priced at zero rupees, there's a catch over here that there is a security amount, amount of rupees 1500, which needs to be deposited and which is refundable, of course. But the point is how many of us will actually claim. So there are millions of people in India. And if all of them buy the phone, imagine the amount of security that would be collected and the amount of interest that the company would be getting on that. And how many of us will be actually going and asking for the refund at the end of it. So the point is, the idea here is to make internet available to a lot of people out there in the country. And uh, Sumit, one more thing, like uh, we have, we all understand that we have very low internet penetration in the country. Going by that, this move actually is very good. Okay, and Ankit, also, if we talk to you about this new cable TV service, it is a territory which was so far not, uh, we can say that, experience or reliance was not there. So do you think it's also a disrupt, uh, disruption as far as cable TV services is concerned or do you think it's just another service? So before I come back to this service, I'd like to go back to what I was saying. So basically, if you look at the internet penetration in India, it's very low. And what they actually announced, it's in a way, a kind of video streaming service. You, uh, the cable TV service that Reliance today announced, it will help you connect your phone to TV, be it smart TV or non-smart TVs. And that's what the concept of video streaming also does. You can have your video streaming dongle, so you can have uh, your laptop and with the help of HDMI, you can actually connect. So the idea here is to connect to uh, your phone to the TV so that you can stream your content to the TV that you have at home, be it smart TV or non-smart TV. So it's a good move because this particular market is dominated by a very few internet users when you talk about video streaming. 
So in a way, it's going to give a lot of people access to view content on larger screens at home. One last question to you would be, Ankit, what does Reliance aim to achieve by launching this Geo phone? Okay, so Sumit, when we talk about the smartphone market in India, it's still the feature phone market that is dominated. You can talk about the metros, we have a smartphone uh, heavy market. But when, when you talk about tier two and tier three cities, a lot of people still use feature phones for the simple reason that they are affordable. So this is what the price sensitivity of Indian market has what Reliance has kept in mind. And they are basically, they have, they have uh, revolutionized the feature phone. So they have reinvented the conventional feature phone with the help of internet services, with the help of 4G network. So they have clubbed together the features of smartphone and the conventional feature model, and they have come up with a 4G enabled feature phone. So in a way, they are going to reach out to a lot of people out there at affordable prices. In a way, the entire India is going to have access to internet services. All right, Ankit, thank you for getting us all these details. And moving on from here, uh, Relgio claims it's going to shake up the market, but it's going to create problem for competitors. Now, Bharti Airtel, India's largest telecom operator, has claimed it was incurring a loss of rupees 550 crore per quarter due to a tsunami of calls originating from Reliance Geo Infocom network. Sunil Bharti Mittal led firm Airtel said company was suffering a loss of 21 pesa per minute on calls originating from the rival network. Geo aims to build business by getting a free ride on highways built by Airtel. The company said that allegations made by Geo on excess revenue from mobile termination charge or MTC was false. Scrapping MTC will let Relgio continue with predatory pricing and throttle competition. The company said by proposing a transition to build and keep regime with zero MTC, Reliance Geo wants to simply transfer its cost to Airtel and other operators. So clearly, with these offers, uh, the competition in India, as far as telecom is concerned, is not happy and that's why we say that telecom wars can get murkier from here on.